Good everyone, my name is Graphics. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you see two given views the plan and the elevation of a given figure, and we are told to draw the isometric projection of these given views. Now, the views are in third angle projection as suggested by the question, meaning that the top here you see is the plan and the bottom here you see is the front elevation right i would have just brought out my box the way i have been doing in the previous video but in this case we don't know the entire length if you look at it no entire length is given we're only given the entire height and the width right so what we'll do is we'll start it this way at the far end of the drawing sheet right or anywhere your drawing sheet you draw a vertical line this way can you see that? Paint line. Then you place your T-square, your C-square, your T-square, and you move this instrument to such that it will be on the same level as this point here, as you're seeing, right? At an angle of what? 30 degree. And you draw this down. Can you see that? Then, the, then let's look out for the elevation. The elevation has a thickness from here, 25. So you're going to measure from this point here, and you're going to measure 25. From 0 to what? To 25. What we have here. Can you see that? And I can easily take in it. Right? So from that same point, that I measure 25, I am going to take it up. Can you see that? And the height they are given to be 110. Remember, I started from here, so my height is what 110. I can put it anywhere, either from here, height of 110. This is from zero, then this is one to 11. Here, that is 110, right? And I'm going to take it up to that point there. So, from here, I'll take it up to that point there this way. From here to where it is, that and similarly, I am going to do the same thing here to our connect here to this point here. Hope you can see that. And I'll also bring it down this way. Hope you can see that. Now, the next thing is, I'll make it form a solid. I will just place my set square, my t square this way. And I'm going to extend this inward this way. Right? I will extend it inward this way. Because um, now, you extend it. This is the top, Abby, the plan. If you look at the plan here, the entire extension here is what? 110. So I'm going to measure 100 and what? 150. At this point here, 150 from 0 right to 14. Right, I'll add 10 more to make it 15. So from 0 to 15 is 450. And I'm going to take it from this point straight down to this point. You can see that? And now I'll come here also to get my 30 degrees set square. Remember that what you use in isometric. And I'll connect here to here. And I'll connect it. You can see that? And I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing here. I'll close it up. Right? You can see that? And I'll bring it down to paint line. And I'll use this to close it up this way. So I'll close here up to this way in this manner. You can see that? So we virtually brought out this shape as you can see where my arrow is pointing. The reason why we're drawing this out. This is what we have here. And the next thing is, we are told that the resistance, this line is 10 millimeter away from the top here. So I'm going to measure 10 millimeter away from the top here. From 0 to 10. Hope you can see that. And I will now draw it using my faint line. From here, I'll draw a faint line. Right? Now, you know that from here to here is 150. So the center of it is what? 75. So I'll measure 75 from here. 
from 0 to 75. You can see that from 0 to what 75 because from here to here is one word 150. Now, aside that, the next thing you should do here is look at the plan. This line you are seeing here, this is a line here, and that's the thickness of what 25. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure 12.5 to both sides. Like, take your meter rule and you measure from 0 to what? 12.5. This 12.5 here. Alright? So 12.5 in 2 sides will give you 25. So I'll place it here. And I'm going to mark 25 to this side. 12.5 to the other side here. I will together. And I am going to bring that point down this way. I'll bring the point down this way. Is that the key? So once I brought the point down, the, the points here you see in here is this point my arrow is pointing, right? So I will now take my set square and I'll draw an horizontal line this way. Just one horizontal line this way. You can see that. Now, from this point here, we are told that the angle at which this line is inclined to is 30 degrees. So, what I will do is I will take my protractor, right? And I will place it in this manner. Can you see? I will place it in this manner, ensure that it is well placed, like this. The center is here. And this is 30 degrees here. Can you see that? And I will take my metal rule and I will draw a line passing through that point this way. You can see that, and from here also, that means from here to a thirty degree, and from here also, I'll place my set square this way, and I'll draw this out this way, and I'll also draw this out this way. You can see that I want them to touch. I want to show you something, or oh, better still, I'm going to move my instrument because I told that the thickness, the height from here to here is forty, so we need an height here. I will not really know. So, for we to know where this line will end is by measuring the height of what? 40. The best way to do it is this. Just take your meter rule and you move it vertically along that point. Look at what I want to do. If I move it, if I stop at 9, this is 9, right? That will be 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. So, I need to come back a little bit. Let me stop at 8. Ah, so, let me come up. Let me stop at 8. So I need 40. Right? This is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. So it must be between 8 and 4. So I'll move it to the extent whereby it will form between 8 and 4. And this is what we have here. As you can see. So this is point 0.8 and point 0.4. So I'll just draw it down front like this way. Can you see that? This is where I'm actually focusing on and here. Then I'll use my set square and i'm going to draw horizontal line this way also come here also draw another horizontal line this way right remember that this is the center point between 25 here so if i place it this way here this is my center point here and we're told that the, the length is given to be what 64 from the plan that means the thickness of what 64 so i'll take my meter rule and I'll measure 32 from 0. This is 32 here. And I'll put it at this point, half of it, 32 to this side, and also 32 to this side. Can you see that? And I am going to join it together using your instrument. Right? And I'm going to join from here, straight down to here. And from here straight down to here, you can see that. And I'll bring it out this way, and I'll bring it out to this way. And we're told that the length of it is going to be what 50 from here to here, right? So I'm going to measure 50 from this point where my arrow is pointing, which is this point here, to this point here, 50. Can you see that? So I can easily take it to here, right? And I will close it up to this point here. This way. Right? And I'll do the same thing here too. 
close the top this way right i'll close it up that way as you can see right as you can see then here also i will do the same thing here too where my arrow is pointing from here straight down to this point and from here straight down to this point right and i'll bring it down and i'll measure 40 we know that from this point to this point is 40 so the center will be applied from here to here so this is 40 here where this meets the 40 line and now close it up you can see that and i'll bring it down to faint line i'll bring it down to faint line and i'll close it up from here using your instrument right then bring it down let me take this here then you bring this down and bring here from here from this point to this point I will start rolling from here right and I'll start rolling from here and I'll bring it down to and here I'll bring it down to right and I'll close it up so you can see what I'm doing so what you're just saying here is other part will not be seen because behind it is hidden right but if you want to show how you want to do that you might put your hidden line there but it is not necessary so we have successfully reproduced the figure that you can see at the right hand side of the screen so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching